All right, so let's get started. This is my first time doing a tarot reading for the masses. Um, I think we'll keep it general today because, well, I'm experimenting, so bear with me. All right, normally I like to start out getting a message from the angel oracle. Already the clumsiest person in the world. Okay, give this a little shuffle. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I don't know about y'all, but I never really noticed numbers following me until the last six months or so. I really started becoming more in tune with number sequences and repetitions of numbers and for me 222 or 2222 tend to follow me quite often but let's see what we get for today oh that was quick okay So we got 4444, four, four, four. blessing in disguise. Obstacles, hardships, strength, building character, experience. There might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor if you've been suffering or feeling lost. Some things may fall apart but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. Well, I don't know about any of y'all tuning in, but this card is definitely speaking to me today, which is why I decided to start filming a video of me reading cards, uh, because I've been feeling very lost lately, and tarot has been the one commonality that has helped bring some peace of mind to me. And if my camera is shaking, it's because my cat decided to jump up on the stand. My apologies. All right. So after pulling the angel number, I always like to pull another Oracle deck card. Deck card. I, I tell ya, my brain these days will blame it on all the pollen in the air, right? I really, really like this deck. It's not uh, the kind of imagery that I feel I would generally be drawn to, but um, the artist is relatively local. And when I was on a trip visiting the town that this artist is from, I um, kept seeing this Oracle deck everywhere. And every time I would go and cut the deck, the same card would show up. And I just felt that that was the universe telling me that this was the Oracle deck that I needed to be working with. Well, normally I pull one card, but hey, two popped out. So why not? Let's go with it. So first card is Morel. Interconnectedness, networking, reciprocity. Focus on your ability to give and share. Your thoughts, feelings, and actions are essential to the universal whole. Expand your network by connecting more deeply with your people and surroundings. Give freely. Give to others what you wish for yourself. Well, that um, seems to resonate with me right away. Um, kind of fits in with my feelings of being lost. Um, and taking new actions to try and change my vibe. All right, so, ooh, foxglove. I'm in the Pacific Northwest and we've got lots of foxglove around here. Reevaluate, detach, heart matters. Reevaluate what's important to you and remember, you are allowed to outgrow relationships. Everyone evolves at a different pace. Your heart knows the truth. Acknowledge its wisdom. 
Detach from that which doesn't nourish and support your evolution. Flowers cannot flourish in depleted soil. Okay, well, I'm trying to find a new place to flourish right now. All right, let's talk to the deck. Let's talk to the tarot. My go-to is the Morgan Greer Tarot based on the Rider Waite deck. Um, I really, really love the bold imagery and the meaning behind the cards. Just as the one deck that seems to speak to me very easily. I have a cat behind me, so if it looks like I have a tail, it's not attached. Oh, interesting. I always like to look at the cards that pop out when I'm cutting the deck and this card happens to be my partner's card. Um, for any of you that have dabbled in tarot, I find that um, our spirits all tend to connect and resonate with one card in particular. Um, for me, I feel like I resonate the most with the star card. So when I'm doing readings for myself and the star card comes out, that's an indication to me that um, the universe is definitely speaking directly to me. And when I'm doing readings and the Knight of Swords pops out, then I know that the universe is keeping my partner in mind as well. Um, yeah, it's just something that I've found to be very interesting in the little bit of time that I've been playing with tarot. Okay, one more shuffle, Pocat. Don't you get into trouble right now. Come on, what are you doing? She's gonna come up on the table, I know it. Okay, let's see here. General message from the universe, huh? Let's just give us a general message. Ooh. Okay. So we've got the King of Cups and the Hanged Man that came out together. Interesting, okay. Hmm. Let's keep pulling some more cards. Normally I like to pull three. Um, and if I have more than one that come out at one time, I try to keep them together um, and not count the additional cards in my original three pull. It's a message from the universe. What message does the universe have today? That was just me being clumsy. You know, nobody's perfect, Poe Cat. Excuse me, miss. I'm trying to figure out how to do this filming stuff. Wow, no cards want to come out right now. This is really interesting. I might have to pull another way oh <laughs> all right the two of swords decisions to be made which way will i go which way will you go Ooh. eight of rods or wands interesting okay so there's definitely some forward movement happening let me just Pull out my cheat sheet real quick and check out this King of Cups because I feel like he can have a couple different meanings depending on the context that he appears in. So for King of Cups, a man of great compassion and understanding, he has succeeded in his endeavors and has found peace and contentment. He is helpful and kind to others. Okay. Interesting. Peace and contentment and kind to others with the hanged man, which the hanged man generally points to being the feeling of being stuck. Um, but as you can tell in the card, he only has one foot tied and his hands are behind his back, which don't show you if they're binded or not, but you can tell kind of by the expression on his face. 
he's pretending to look serious, but really he's just suspended by one foot, which means that he's got full control over if he decides to untie his foot or not. Um, so even though you might feel like you're in a hard position, um, the decision is there and it should be easy to do. Oh, this is Poe. She's going to mess everything up. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's clarify this uh, King of Cups action, shall we? King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups for me with our message from the universe. Ooh. My goodness, I tell you, this King of Cups does not want to hang out alone. He just makes all the cards pop out. Wow. Okay, so we've got Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Rods, and the Knight of Rods. Interesting. find it kind of fascinating that all of the cards that I've pulled so far have a blue background. I wonder if that stands for my my airy personality <laughs> or uh, I don't know maybe it's just uh, lots of emotions. Water, blue, emotion. All right so let's see here. Wheel of Fortune. You have the opportunity to kind of manifest whatever you want. Page of Rods. Let's let's check our cheat sheet for the Page of Rods. Pages um, symbolize youth, so it's definitely a younger, possibly more mature, immature card. Um, Page of Rods: A young man bearing information or spiritual importance. Okay. So we can see that he's got some leaves sprouting from his rod, maybe showing some development and progression. But it looks pretty desolate behind him still, so I think he's got quite a ways to go yet. And let's look at the Knight of Rods, which sit right next to each other in the deck, and it's kind of interesting. A young man traveling a path predominated by his belief in the unknown, possible change in residence. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that speaks to anybody else, but I um, have casually been looking for a new place to live. So this background might change eventually if I continue doing these videos. Okay, so... Fulfillment, contentment, but with decisions to be made. Kind of a gamble. But there's still a lot left to learn. Okay, let's move on to that. Um, two of Swords. Two of Swords signifying decisions. Which way to go? Let's clarify this Two of Swords. Today must be a 333 day and not a 4444 day because I keep getting groups of three falling out, which never happens. All right, so we've got the 10 of rods and the nine of swords and the six of rods. Okay, very interesting. So the Ten of Rods to me speaks that you have everything that you desire within your grasp. See, he's got every one of those rods in his arms, but you can tell by the expression on his face that it's not an easy task for him. He's definitely struggling and putting in a lot of effort to hold all ten of those rods, but he's got them. And then we had the Nine of Swords. 
being bound, feeling a little trapped and struggling to move forward. Interesting. I feel like these cards under the Two of Swords are representing more um, the internal, what you don't see, subconscious. And then we finish with the Six of Rods. He looks pretty victorious to me on his white steed, carrying his rod with his wreath. Let's check this out. Let's see what the Six of Rods is all about, shall we? Triumph, resolution of difficulties and the realization of hopes and desires. Okay, that's cool. So we have a tough decision to make with the Two of Swords. Everything that we want is within our grasp. It's just going to be hard to get there and we might feel a little restricted, but we will come out victorious in the end. Okay. And the Eight of Rods. High hopes and swiftly approaching goals. Promising success. All right, let's dive a little deeper into this uh, Eight of Rods. Give us a little bit more information on the Eight of Rods, please. Thank you all for being so patient with me while I fumble through this, not knowing what the heck I'm doing. But practice makes perfect. We all have to start somewhere, right? The moon. Okay. Hmm. So... There's a lot of uncertainty, not knowing what's going to come. Let's keep going here. Eight of Rods and the Moon. Tell me more about the Eight of Rods with the Moon. Again, I find it fascinating that every card I've pulled with the exception of the Nine of Swords has had a blue background to it. it seems like most of my stuff is Maybe not as difficult as I feel like it is, or maybe for you, you're making it a bigger deal than it needs to be. It's just that little red flag, but everything else looks really good. Let's continue clarifying this. Ooh, let's go with her. <laughs> the Seven of Pentacles and another blue background. Golly, can we talk about all the blue backgrounds right now? That's awesome. I like to look at the Seven of Pentacles as being like the ultimate cultivator. You know, that's the card that says that with work, you're able to achieve whatever you desire. So just keep it up. That's an awesome message. Okay, let's try and pull one more card for this, all right? Let's just see. I usually like to do three clarifiers if I can just to paint a little bit more of a vivid picture. Two of Cups. The one, one card with the yellow background. Fascinating, okay. Well, the Two of Cups usually signifies the coming together in a relationship, um, whether it be romantic or a friendship or partnership, but a harmonious connection between two people. So to me, it, it seems like while there might be lots of doubts and confusion and possible roadblocks, with determination, you're able to achieve what you want to achieve. Don't let the fear of the unknown stop you from pursuing your goals. 
and things should move faster than you expect if you put in the effort. My cat has the zoomies now all of a sudden. She sleeps all day and as soon as I start filming something, she's like, huh? Let's play. All right, so should we pull one more card for like overall energy? Let's try that. Let's just get one card for the overall energy of the reading for today. Ooh, being sloppy here. <laughs> the Ace of Swords. Guys, gals, folks, another bl blue card. <laughs> oh man, aces are awesome. Aces are so powerful. Let's read here. Let's use our cheat sheet and see. Ace of Swords, triumph, conquest, great power. It's amazing. You see these big, strong clouds rolling over the mountains. And all of these flowers blooming from the sword with a crown. So that's it. That's what we needed to know is that in spite of some of the struggles that are in front of us, some of these obstacles and hardships that we see with the 4444, you're gonna come out triumphant. You can't get better than that. Wow, cool. All right, well, I really appreciate y'all tuning in and hopefully not critiquing me too hard. Um, we'll see if this is something that I decide to continue pursuing. I'll probably remove this cover so that y'all can see the cards better but I mean look at this y'all can we just before I let you go out of all the cards all the cards that popped out today Blue, 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 blue. We just got one yellow and one red. Absolutely wild. <laughs> well, I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.